Abrams tanks aren't even in Ukraine yet, and already Russia is giving the United States flack about the type of ammunition the tanks will shoot. This week, the U.S. said it would supply depleted uranium rounds to Ukraine's armed forces. The U.K. already gave Ukraine DU rounds back in March. Depleted uranium is a byproduct of making enriched uranium, which is used in nuclear reactors and weapons. But depleted uranium is exactly that. Depleted. It's less radioactive than the naturally occurring material. Depleted uranium is also dense, extremely dense, which is why countries like the UK, the US, and Russia started using it for weapons decades ago. So how exactly do depleted uranium rounds work? Let's break it down. DU rounds, like other conventional munitions, contain a projectile, propellant, and an igniter. DU rounds also have sabos to stabilize the main projectile. Once fired, the projectile becomes a superheated metal dart that doesn't dent on impact. Instead, the dense, depleted uranium stays sharp to pierce armored vehicles. When that happens, shards of the vehicle's own armor fly through the interior with lethal velocity. Depleted uranium also ignites when exposed to oxygen, so the projectile can cause a fire inside enemy vehicles, cooking off whatever ammo or fuel is inside. Russia is already losing more armor in Ukraine than it can make. Once Ukraine starts launching DU Sabo rounds from Abrams tanks, arguably some of the best tanks ever made, the number of Russian armored vehicles lost to the scrap pile will no doubt increase. For all their effectiveness on the battlefield, DU rounds do not come without their controversies. Critics say DU rounds may be less radioactive than naturally occurring uranium, but they are still radioactive and can cause cancer. The U.S. military says there is no proof depleted uranium has led to a spike in cancer among its troops. The United Nations says while not a bomb, there are still risks with depleted uranium. The International Atomic Energy Agency says DU is mainly a toxic chemical, and troops who handle it should wear protective apparel, like gloves. The Kremlin said the U.S. giving Ukraine depleted uranium was, quote, very bad news. When the U.K. gave Ukraine DU rounds earlier this year, Russia responded by putting nuclear weapons in Belarus. The EU isn't always used for its offensive capabilities, though. During Desert Storm, the U.S. outfitted its Abrams tanks with depleted uranium armor. Not a single tank was penetrated by Iraqi fire. It's unclear if the Abrams tanks the U.S. is giving to Ukraine will include the same sort of DU armor. The Pentagon says the first 10 of the promised 31 Abrams should be in Ukraine within the next few weeks. The remaining tanks will be delivered by the end of the year. For more unbiased, straight fact reporting about the war in Ukraine and other weapons systems in use there, download the Straight Arrow News app today or check us out at san.com.